four of New Zealand's most powerful queens of soul, Annie Crummer, Aradna, Bella Kaloro and Esther Stevens, come together in a world premiere this March, paying respect to Aretha Franklin. This incredible Auckland Art Festival production will be taking place in Aote Square's Spiegel Tent. Here to tell us all about it are these two goddesses, Annie Crummer and <laughs> Esther Stevens. Yeah. Oh, Welcome. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Nice to have you here. Now, Annie, tell us about the show. What's going to happen? Well, yeah, respect, eh? Respect. Thank God that song was written. <laughs> it, it, that song's going to last forever. Sometimes respect is even better than love. Oh, nice. You know nice. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and she was a big believer in that, she wasn't was she? A big believer in that. And, you know, when, when, when Aretha says something, yeah, you'll pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. you do listen. So it's all of you, all with stunning voices, just singing Aretha songs. Yeah. And a little bit of us thrown in as well. Yep. Yeah. So um, you, there will definitely be some Aretha material. We're backed by the amazing Auckland Jazz Orchestra, which will be fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And then, yeah, we're going to throw in a few of our own original pieces as well, just to kind of keep mix it fresh things up a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is the world premiere. It is. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, well, we're very lucky. Okay. Um, Esther, an incredible lineup of talent, including yourself. Had you met the other ladies or worked with them before? Oh, I'd met Annie. Oh. Yeah, where did it get um, you how long ago? It was like a, a ago. while ago, yeah, yeah um, through Tama Waipara and Nathan Haynes, who are mutual friends. Yes. And um, Bella, I, I met for the show, and the same with Aradna, but I was, yeah, completely stunned and stoked to be asked to join yeah. you guys, because yeah. they're not only um, amazing friends, but total musical idols as well so I'm about as excited to see the show as I am to be in the show. That's a good place to yeah. be. Yeah. When you sing Aretha songs do you channel Aretha or do you put your own spin onto them? It's best that you just be you. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's so okay so it's not going to be like a, a tribute show where we come out and dress like her. Um, well that would be quite interesting. But yeah, yeah. You, 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 you sing it the way that you do and you sing it in your own key. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just probably like five yeah. times lower than what she would do. But they're mammoth, mega songs and um, you know, we just have to craft them the best way that we know how mm. and um, respect ourselves, yeah. you know. There's been a few artists over the years, I guess, that, um, you know, not as great as Aretha, but very similar in terms of, the, of their mana and, the, and their presence and the message that they wanted to send. And, um, you know, I'm thinking of Beyonce is, is probably a good one at the moment. But for you, Esther, Lauren Hill was probably one of your first influences, it's, I read. It's true, yes. She was someone who definitely inspired me as a teenager. Um, the, her album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, came out around the time I was about 12, 13, started getting into singing. Right. And similar to Aretha, you know, her, um, her lyrics and her messages were so empowering as a young woman and inspiring, and, yeah, that was definitely something I was did you Did to. you Lauren Hill into your hairbrush in front of the mirror? Well, I kind of got <laughs> one better. My dad played guitar, so he learnt most of the album so I could learn the songs and sing them so Aww. that was a really good That's a really little nice thing um, to do. education for me Fantastic. yeah wow. <laughs> And Annie, I wanted to take you back to 1996. It's okay. Don't, you don't, have to, don't roll anything up there. I know how you guys play, right? No, but um, you know, I, I was I was doing some research, and uh, 1996, I read that you did a duet with Sting. You had some work with Jimmy Barnes. Uh, you were doing a Michael Jackson concert. Tell us about that time in your life. How that actually happened, right? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I forget things about my. Myself. I basically just go in there and do do the work, but that was a quite a good week. Mm. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> good day at the office. Right. Yeah. yeah, no, well, when Sting asks you to join him on stage, because I was touring with him as his opening act uh, in Australia for about uh, three weeks, maybe a month or something, and he was so gracious, he came out and watched my very first show, and then he asked me afterwards if I would like to join him, uh, you know, with every show that we're going to do, and it was a song called Let Your Soul Be Your Pilot. And oh, I love, love that, that song. song. <laughs> oh, he can play, he can play, he <laughs> can sing, he can write mm. songs, he's amazing. Yeah, and then uh, the very next day that I finished that tour with uh, Sting, came back to uh, New Zealand and then did support for Michael Jackson. And then the, the yeah, and then the very next day Sting was playing in, in Auckland, so uh, I came and sang with him again. And then the next day, uh, 
yeah, it was Michael again. What, what, uh, oh my what, gosh, am I blowing time. smoke? This is not my love. <laughs> no, 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 very no, humble. Just, <laughs> <laughs> well, tell you what, plenty more to learn about yes. you, Esther, and to find out more about the show. So tell you what, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with these two incredible performers straight oh. after that. <laughs> With Esther and Annie talking about the show Respect, a tribute to Aretha Franklin that is having its world premiere in March. But we were just talking in the break then, and Annie, you, so you, Michael Jackson, Sting, you played with and for them, and yes. you were just saying you mixed your album at Paisley Park for I two know. weeks. It's all Prince every day. It's all Prince every day, pretty much. You can sort of, you, you, could, you could hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Did he smell like lavender? Everyone says he smells like lavender. Sandalwood. <laughs> oh, controversial. I know these things, yeah, I took notice of it. Wow. Yeah, so there's been a lot of lot of blessings in this crazy, mm. crazy career that we've chosen, right? But uh, wonderful things. Amazing. And Esther, you've just wrapped up shooting another season of West Side. It's true, we just finished our third season a week ago, so wow. that'll be on air later this year, which will be nice. Because you, you do so much. I mean, you're a singer, you do theatre, you I do know. TV. Just try and stay busy, you know, and sort of do do the things that I enjoy doing. Do you have a favourite? If you, ha I mean, that's an awful thing to say. You know, but, you know, <laughs> if you had to choose, would you go for the music side or for the acting side? The thing about New Zealand is that you never have to choose because there's always so much going oh, on and... Stuff. So, I, I don't know, I'm very excited to be doing this show and to be doing a bit of singing, mm. um, having nice just answer. finished some television. <laughs> <laughs> well, right like, you kind of have seasons of different things yeah. and love different yeah. things at different times. So. Mm. And uh, I've got some quick fire questions for you two, okay? So I'm going to ask you and you have to answer them, okay? Totally. Okay, so no. it's a choice <laughs> thing, so you've got to tell me. Beyonce or Adele? Oh, oh. Uh, oh. It's a harsh one to start with. Cock sucking, <laughs> Annie. <laughs> uh, Beyonce or Adele? Beyonce, hands down, Beyonce. Oh. Oh. Yes. This is a think game. <laughs> <laughs> Annie doesn't want to play Already. you are, you dumb, dumb game. James Taylor or Don Henley? <laughs> oh, mm. like a bit of Donny. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Too young. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Les Mis or The Phantom? Oh. Phantom. Phantom? Yeah. Okay, haven't seen I, them. Oh, okay, I, right. Yeah. Well, I've seen some musicals that you've been in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, radio. Do you listen to the radio or do you have your own playlist? Oh, we're too busy learning stuff, eh? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> learning <laughs> this playlist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holly Smith or Anika Moore? Oh, hey. Oh. 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 Okay, okay. That's harsh. Okay, one more, one more. <laughs> You're going to hate this one. Dave Dobbin or Neil Finn? Oh. Am I being mean? Is this mean? You can't Let me read that. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beer or wine? Oh. Wine. Okay, I don't nice. drink. Oh. Sorry, Simon. Tea or coffee? <laughs> tea or coffee? Oh, green tea. Oh, you're not. Nice. <laughs> coffee. Oh, you're not. Nice. Oh, my God, I'm so boring. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you played with Sting, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. man. <laughs> Mixing in Prince's studio. Yeah, life's pretty good, don't you worry. And uh, you're one of my favourite artists. You know, um, that song with... Um, Neither World Dancing Toys for today. Yes. Uh, how old were you when you did that? Three. <laughs> Child prodigy. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Oh. I mean, and they're still playing that song today. Mm. And who knew that it would have the longevity it, it has? Oh, had. one of my favourites. Do you, uh, just before you go, Annie, have you, is New Zealand a hard and tough place to do music? If you love it, just stay alive, love what you do, and be grateful every moment oh, of your life. It's beautiful. true. Nice. Wherever you are. So looking forward to seeing yeah. the show. Yay! Respect. Yep. That's us. And as Aretha once said, the man who gets me is getting one hell of a woman. Those that get to see your show are getting one hell of a show. So Ooh, thank yeah. you nice both right. for coming in. <laughs> one. Yeah, the world coming out of this incredible show. Respect will be at the Spiegel Tent in Auckland's Altair Square in March. Check out the Auckland's Arts Festival website for details. And Annie's also part of the Saturday's Pride Parade. So we will yes. see you there, Annie. That's the one. Thanks, ladies. Throwing out little bits of coconut, coconut, in the crowd, apparently. Yeah, <laughs>